Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Today I wanted to go over a switched outlet where half of an outlet is is on a switch. What I have is an electrical problem on a wall switch that's instead of just controlling the one half of the outlet like it normally would, it's actually controlling all of the outlets on the string as well as a outside porch light. Uh, now I just kind of wanted to talk about it because it's it's kind of tricky to figure out something like this when you come across it. You know, many of you guys have changed out outlets and switched outlets and you understand the breakaway tab and everything. Um, but what I'm going to show in another video is how these are actually wired properly, how power is transferred to the electrical outlet. Uh, there was a couple questions I had when I was uh, figuring this out and I, I finally, you know, figured it out in my mind and understood what was happening. But um, you know, one question is if you have a switched outlet and the breakaway tab's been broken, um, what would happen if someone didn't break away the breakaway tab so that you had hot coming in to the top half of the outlet and the bottom half of the outlet and on two lines, you know, one line to each and the breakaway tab wasn't broken, what would happen? You know, would it throw the breaker? What would happen? Uh, that was a question at which I actually have the answer for. Uh, kind of interesting, you know, electrical theory and understanding it, it's, uh, you know, there's a lot that we sort of understand, but understanding it completely and getting your mind wrapped around what's actually happening uh, is sometimes tricky, but I've actually figured these out. I'm going to share the answers uh, with you uh, to these questions in some upcoming videos, Lord willing, and, um, you know, just, uh, anyway, this one, what I had is the outlet to my right there uh, is controlled by this switch and but what was happening was that switch was controlling all of the outlets on the string down the uh, road so um, anyway I'll, I'll show uh, how these should be properly wired and then it'll make a lot more sense but you know when you first come to something like this it's like wow what happened you know I had some remodeling going where outlets were being replaced as well as uh, there was you know old repairs that had been done and somebody else uh, you know switch something somewhere and now I've got this you know major problem but I figured out I'm gonna share the answer with you in upcoming videos and I thought it'd be interesting to give uh, some of you guys out there that understand some of these things a chance to kinda think this through you know what do you think happened here uh, with this outlet and how would you fix it? <laughs> you know, uh, sometimes it's just kind of fun to think it through. Uh, this was, uh, you know, this was a bit challenging to think through at first, and it wasn't until I I pulled, went to another unit and pulled it apart and looked at what was going on there, so that I could understand how to fix this particular problem. Also, in making this video, I figured it would give a nice clear path to the answer, so you might click the link in, on the video on the annotation right here or uh, I'll leave a link in the description below uh, to the video showing how these should properly be wired and as well as the other questions like what would happen if you hooked up two hots to the same side. So thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Hope to be uh, helping troubleshoot you know particular problems that you might come across uh, in the field. You might also check out my recent video on wire size names and nomenclature. Uh, Primer. It's just a primer video on how the number sizes are determined: 12, 2, 10, 3, and you know, N, M, B, and what all those things mean uh, on the wiring.